Most nights are easy. But tonight, tonight I'm trying. Trying to stay distracted. Be the good Samaritan everyone expects me to be. But I feel the urge. <sighs> that urge is wanting to take control. I must distract. Don't let it win. <sighs> but I think it's time. Yo, what's up guys? Thank you for checking out my video. Right now I'm gonna break down every single scene and tell you exactly how I got what I got. On every single shot, I used one light. That's right, the Godox TL60. Now, the light you have doesn't have to be this light. It could be a COB light, uh, a cheaper tube light. It could be one of the flat light mats. The important thing is just to understand how we get what we get, and that I'm gonna help you with. Now, I've been seeing a lot of the one light challenges on YouTube, and I honestly feel like you need at least two lights. Most of these one light challenges that you see on YouTube, they are done using two lights. You just don't realize it. One is your key light, and then one is usually a, a ambient light, the sun. So on this scene, I opened my shades and let the light fill the room. I put my camera at the 400 base ISO because that is my native ISO. I put my color temperature on 33 to 3500 to get that cool blue tone. I put on my practicals, I used the Godox TL60 overhead above to light me. I use false color. For my false color setup, I'm looking for lighter skin to be in the pink or green range and for darker skin to be in the gray or green range. Anything that falls into the blue is a total loss of information. Anything that's red is totally blown out. Now, sometimes you will have some shadow information if you're shooting for a nighttime look that will happen to fall into the blue and that's okay. Moving on to scene two. I did the same exact setup only thing I did was brought the camera closer, turned myself around and positioned myself so that I can see the practical in the back to create a little bit of depth. On the third scene, I moved myself to the edge of the bed, moved the camera and the light overhead. I liked one look that was really sourcey, but then I tried something different. I took some diffusion cloth, wrapped it around my tube light just to see if that would soften it up and just how that would look. And I liked it, but it was a little too soft. I might be in the minority when I say that I like a lot of contrast in my images. I like to see the difference in light and dark. I believe it adds a little bit of drama and texture. Now in this last scene, I didn't want to shoot towards the window, but it's pretty hard to avoid. Um, there's the mirror in there and it's such a small and tiny space. I mounted the light above the sink. I just happened to have um, a piece of metal. I used these magnetic tube holders made by 9 volt. I put one on the tube and stuck it up there and it held perfectly in place. I then shined the light towards myself. Now, let me just go ahead and say that this can be done in Premiere as well. Only thing you need is the Kodak 2383 LUT. I bought the footage into DaVinci Resolve. I did a color space transform to convert the footage from Blackmagic to Cineon. And the reason I did that is because the supplied 2383 Kodak LUT inside of DaVinci Resolve uses the Cineon standard. So then I dropped the LUT on in another node to go from Cineon to uh, 2383 Rec 709. Most of the heavy lifting was already done for me right there with that conversion. Only thing I had to do was just go in, I lowered the gain on the highlights just a little bit, and then I put some green into the highlights, and that was it. I didn't do any fancy power windows or anything like that because I want you guys to be able to see that these are tweaks that you can do inside of Premiere or Final Cut as well. I also denoised the footage, added a little bit of grain and sharpened it. False color can be very intimidating. Trust me, I spent years trying to avoid learning it, but it was the one thing that took my footage to the next level. And I believe that you guys can do it too. Click on this video and I'm gonna show you how to do it in a few easy steps.